Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for getting suspicious about my wife during her friend's bachelorette trip to Mexico. So, my wife went to Mexico last week for a bachelorette party. Besides the plane ticket hotel and the first day's expenses, dinners, hotel shop stuff, drinks at the bar, and souvenirs, she didn't spend a dime the entire week. She says her friend picked up the tab for the rest, which might be accurate, but it's still raising red flags for me. What makes it worse is that my wife is usually glued to her phone, posting everything on Instagram and TikTok. The last thing she shared was one of those jumping into vacation trends, and then her social media went dark. I was looking forward to seeing her vacation pics, but when she got home, she brushed it off, saying she just didn't feel like taking pictures. She's been really distant too. Last night, she said she wanted to sleep on the couch because the AC is better there, which I believe. But I'm pretty sure I heard her talking on the phone in the middle of the night. When I went downstairs to check, I tripped over the dog and made a racket, so by the time I got there, she was pretending to be asleep. I tried talking to her this morning, letting her know that all these little things make me uneasy. I told her I wasn't accusing her of anything, just sharing how I felt. She blew up and said I was a major asshole for bringing it up on her first day back at work. I said I wasn't trying to pry, just communicate. She told me my communication is prying and refused to discuss it, then took the kids to summer camp and left. Edit. I realized her texts probably synced to her iPad, so I just checked. It took me a while to figure out the passcode, but I did. There was a message at 9.15 the night she got to the resort from a number with no contact info that said, OK, I'll meet you in the lobby, is the app you said signal? I looked up signal, and it's kind of like WhatsApp. The iPad doesn't have a signal on it. I Google that number, and it's a real estate agent's number who works in South Florida. I found his Instagram and verified that he was, in fact, in Mexico this past week, supposedly on a golf trip with his friends. Edit 2. If you have been following my comments, you've seen that my sister is coming over. She's an insane internet sleuth and is relentless when it comes to this cheating stuff. She also scares me, so I hope this isn't a mistake. I will probably stop responding so we can talk and she can do her thing. I am numb, but she can do this. Thanks to everyone for the lovely comments and a reality check, it's not looking good. Edit 3, she cheated. My sister got lots of info from the real estate guy and my wife denied it at first but then admitted it. Sorry it took so long to update but I'm numb. Have literally zero idea what to do now. My sister had a burner phone and texted him as my wife that her husband me was suspicious. So she had a new phone and asked him to contact her on Signal there if he wanted to stay in touch. Literally within seconds, he sent a Signal message. Through an hour or so my sister again pretending to be my wife could get him to reminisce about their week, he sent pics of them in a bar, on the beach together etc. We took pics of the Signal messages with another phone, so there is 100% smoking gun evidence of her with the guy and him saying how much fun they had. What I can't get over is how sleazy the guy is. He's not attractive, he's overweight, and his real estate website reads like some get-rich scheme. He literally looks like Tony Soprano with 30 extra pounds and greasier hair. I'm ripping myself up because I just don't get it. I probably make more money than he does. Combined, we certainly do, so what did he have that was worth it? Is it that I spent our money on maxing out retirement accounts and college savings and not flashy BS like he obviously does? I mean, I could understand if she was attracted to hippie, a rock climber, a surfer dude with rock hard abs, but this guy makes it so much worse. I feel like such a failure. Edit 4. For people looking up our personal stuff, we don't live in Lubbock, nor does my wife work for the Lubbock school system. We grew up in the area and went to college there, but have long since moved to another community. Please don't try to research this, as you may hurt someone who is totally not involved. I'm getting lots of advice to delete this, and I don't want to, but I may have to. Edit 5. I know people really want updates, and we've been talking, arguing, screaming and threatening all day. I'm more confused than I was this morning, and that's for sure. But I'm also confused, exhausted, sad, upset, nervous, and don't know what to do. I did make a preliminary appointment with a family law attorney tomorrow to talk about protecting assets and how to navigate the legal way ahead, regardless of what I choose to do. I will say that there's a subreddit that this was cross-posted to and it may be the most toxic group of people I've ever seen online, and I feel terrible for those people. As for the privacy issues, no one has figured out who we are. That's not a challenge, by the way. I'm exhausted, and I doubt people are still invested, 
but if there's still interest I can update either this post or a new one in a few days. I'm really hoping to sleep tonight. My sister still has the kids, and they are having a blast. She went to the lake with her boyfriend's family today, so I'm glad they are in good hands. Comments No range 3120 I'm sorry op. Definitely ente. I know you have a lot to sort through, emotionally and logistically. Still, there are many people in your corner. Also there is no excuse for cheating, do not let her justify manipulate or gaslight you into believing anything else. Get your divorce and some therapy. Everything will get worse, but it will get better too. Good luck. OP, in one of her more lucid moments today, I was begging her to tell me why she chose a guy who weighs 300 with greasy hair on his fourth marriage with at least six kids, and she flat out told me he made her feel special. I guess I don't know women at all because I've spent my entire life trying to not be that guy, and have my wife set up for retirement, my kids set up for college, we have a lovely second home on the lake, I took risks to move from engineering to management in my company so I could provide our family with everything. I work late hours, love my kids and coach little league volleyball and swimming, even though I can barely doggy paddle. I love her parents and paid them to visit Hawaii with us last year. And fucking fat Tony Soprano with his rented Ferrari on his awful Florida real estate site made her feel special, and I'm looking at the prospect of legitimately not seeing my kids on Christmas morning ever again. Krubins. Does your wife even care that she just ruined her entire family? OOP, in one minute, she's devastated, begging me not to do anything rash, and asking me to think of what the kids will do if they are raised in a split household. In the next, she's utterly unapologetic and telling me I caused all this. I'm all over the place emotionally too so I get it, but it's a little hard to hear that I caused this. Common ad 5586 You know, after reading your comments, isn't it imperative that you inform the sleazeball's wife that she has a husband who cheats? I would run that idea past your sister and see what she thinks. OP, it will definitely happen, but I must talk to the lawyer tomorrow. If I hadn't asked my sister to babysit yesterday and today, this would now be a viral cheater story all over TikTok with the pics to prove it. Initial training 320 I hope there were no graphic photos that would make her famous in South Florida. At least I hope that you didn't have to see any. OP, no, it's t like selfies taken at the bar with arms around each other, sitting on the beach in lounge chairs snuggled up. There are a few pics of him paying her for parasailing and riding ATVs. There's enough where she can't deny she was spending time with him, but nothing graphic enough that would make me want to blow my brains out. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.